June was one of the most explosive months yet for the Traders' Contest and before we examine the outcome of the battle for that month, let's first pay tribute to May's winner Artist 10. He narrowly beat Snow Show to the top prize. As part of his winnings, he was flown to Geneva. How does it feel to be the newest addition to the Trader Contest Hall of Fame? It is a big surprise for me. I feel great and I'm very happy to be here in Geneva. Until May, you were quite unsuccessful in your trades as you drained your account three months in a row. What have you changed in your trading style since then? In the May, I totally changed my trading style. I didn't use any indicators anymore. I just used support and resistance levels, channels, flags and uh, Bollinger Bands. So I made my own strategy and changed my money management. So what were your main mistakes that you made in previous months? I was trying to trade 50-50 with the high leverage and with the first trade I mostly lost the all account. So I changed my money management and my trading style and it worked out very good. In May we saw there was a lot of volatility in the Eurozone as well as China and commodities being in much focus. How did you cope with this difficult macroeconomic picture whilst you were trading? Actually, after May, I, after April, I don't pay much attention to the fundamentals. I just try to not trade where our big news expected. So I watch the news, then I wait a few hours and see what happens. And then I make my decisions. 1,031 competitors took part in the hunt for prizes and what a messy hunt it was. Artist 10 and Royal K. Gosh became embroiled in a very public spat and the preliminary results shows it's the American who came out on top. But we should stress these results could change once the final numbers are added up. Now let's move on to some of the most impressive trades of the week. MP Trades held this position for three days on Euro Dollar. Although the take profit was not triggered, it was closed near the weekly high and the trader gained 227 pips. Although the pip value for dollar Norwegian krone is lower when compared to other pairs, this is still an impressive trade by Tajol48, worth 810 pips. Dog Fafik scored 153 pips as the Aussie dollar gathered strength in the week. The position was held for two days. And Bidamai12, 133 pips on dollar Looney. The position was closed by take profit after this pair dropped when strong inflation figures were reported in Canada. It's now that part of the programme where we see who couldn't control their greed and lost out and who climbed the ladder. July's contest has already started and traders may have noticed some changes. After much discussion, popularity will now have less weight. The maximum will be 50 as opposed to 100. Transparency is something we take very seriously here at Ducoscopy Bank, so the contest team will be publishing the methodology of the Ducoscopy evaluation. And the best news of all, the award system has been extended. Positions 11 to 20 will receive $100 bonus, which will accumulate on their profile, and once it hits 500 bucks, contestants can open a live account. So there are more prizes than ever to compete for. Good luck trading and goodbye for now.